Hey guys, good afternoon. It's about 1.20 right now, and it's a Friday, and we are prototyping some new graphics with the P7000. Of course, we're using our glossy substrate. You can see those skulls that are coming out. I just uh, went over some cut lines on them. I wanted to do a little bit of a bleed on them so they look more or less painted on. The OS Engines logos, of course, they've got the uh, flame insert as well as a chrome insert on the actual lettering. And you can definitively see as they come out of the printer what they look like. And again, we get lots of questions on the glossy substrate because of the kind of production uh, we do. You can see the color reproduction on this. It's just amazing. And again, I cannot emphasize enough, if you guys are doing prototyping, when I do prototyping, my typical protocol is I'll go through, design the graphics, retouch the graphics, go over clarity, contrast, all the lighting effects. And then what I try to do is really design them in a sense that what do I want them to look like? You have certain graphics you're okay with uh, a non-bleed finish, other graphics you want to bleed, and for those out there who don't know what I'm talking about, a bleed is basically making sure that the graphic is cut within the printed area so that there is no white excess vinyl showing. So it looks exactly like the graphic is painted on, okay? Um, it saves a huge amount of money to any end user instead of actually having uh, the, the car or whatever they're working on painted to do that with a graphic because, again, it gives you the same effect as a painted image, but, again, much, much cheaper because it's applied with vinyl. Now, of course, it's not, it's not going to be as thin as paint. It's not going to be integrated into the surface, but you understand exactly where we're going. And, again, you can see the full color spectrum here because we do get a lot of questions on that, on what, uh, again, you're able to achieve on this substrate. You see the OS engine logos, they came out absolutely flawless. And again, we do have the inlay of the flames in the back with the chrome finish, along with some custom AMA labels for a client. And again, I cannot emphasize enough, guys, coordinate your jobs if possible so that you can definitively print as many multiple jobs on one sheet as possible. Now, of course, I'm using a large, uh, large scale uh, printer where, again, we're dealing with a much higher end printer. Many of you may not have a printer this size, but you can still correlate many jobs. Those 13 by 19 printers that are out, the Canon Pixmas, the Epsons, uh, the big thing here is just coordinating the largest print sizes you can do and trying to coordinate them so everything is done on one sheet. You're going to definitely, definitely, definitely multiply your actual profits very quickly that way. You can also see right now we're finishing up some silicroil two ounce labels. And again, knocking out as many different designs on one sheet as possible. And you can see just how fast the money adds up. You figure eight, set, $8 sets of graphics, $3 sets of graphics, depending upon if you're shipping or not. That's another question we get asked a lot about the business model. You always have to think about your shipping if you guys are integrating shipping. If you're lucky enough to have a retail outlet where you're marketing your stuff direct, of course, that's something you'll save on, but typically you'll be paying the store owner or someone else uh, some type of money as far as a carryover fee just to carry your products in your store. But again, it usually washes out. It's just basis on you know which way you guys want to go as far as incorporating the business, expanding your business model. But without a doubt, because he's, she's actually finishing up right now. Let's see them just finishing up. The head's right now going over, doing final measuring, and she's all done. But no matter what you guys are doing, I cannot emphasize enough, getting involved with graphic printing at this level where you're doing production art for sale, you're, it's one of the easiest business models to learn. You can learn at your own pace. The big thing is is understanding substrates, understanding uh, ICC profiles, color spectrums, as far as what you're trying to achieve with the look you're trying to achieve. And realistically, anyone can do this, and it's an easy second or third stream of income or multiple streams of income, depending upon where you're starting, to do this and get away from that nine to five. If you're trying seriously to start a secondary business, I cannot, or third or multiple, depending upon where you're at, this is one of the easiest easiest businesses to get involved with with the least amount of investment even if you purchase a high-end printer again this particular printer you're looking at about a three to five thousand dollar investment if you're starting with a uh, 
an entry level, uh, smaller, wide format printer. When I say smaller level, you know, you got them 13 by 19 profile printers. They'll work fine. I mean, the substrates that we're working with are professional grade, so the effect you're going to get is excellent. The big thing is is understanding what color density you can get and understanding lamination because lamination is going to protect the prints, make the prints durable. Once you understand all that, you're set to go. So again, keep that in mind for those out there wanting to get started or have questions, please, by all means, message Joanna um, directly and she can naturally answer your questions or I can and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you guys have questions on substrates, once again, for your particular application, message us direct and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care, have a great weekend, and remember, like and subscribe, and if you guys do have questions, don't forget, you can contact us with our contact information directly in the video description and you'll be all set. Take care.